Hello. If you have read your lecture notes, you would have come across this formula u1 minus u2 is equal to v2 minus v1. And this formula is applicable only for collisions which are elastic. So if the collision is not elastic, you cannot apply this formula. So what is this formula saying? The left hand side, u1 minus u2 is the so-called relative speed of approach. And the right hand side, v2 minus v1, so v2 minus v1 is the so-called relative speed of separation. So if the collision is elastic, the two masses will approach each other and separate from each other at the same relative speed. Ah, yeah, I think a numerical example should be more useful. Huh? So let's take this one as an example. How do we apply the RSOA is equal to RSOS formula for this collision? Now remember, you got to do this minus that is equal to that minus this, all right? This minus that is that minus this. So 3 minus negative 4 because it's left word, yeah? So 3 minus negative 4 is equal to V minus 2. So do the math, V is 9 meter per second. Let's put the number down here. Okay, now let me explain what is the RSOA and what's the RSOS. Now look here. What is the speed at which these two masses are approaching each other? If this ball is stationary, then this ball will be approaching at 3 meters per second. But this ball is not stationary, it's also going, going leftward. So the relative speed at which they approach each other is not 3, it's not 4, it's actually 3 plus 4. Get it? Because that's the speed they are approaching at each other. Similarly, uh, after the collision, what is the speed at which this one is separating from the other one? Not 9, yeah? Because this guy is not stationary. This guy is also going right to it. So, can you see that this guy is separating from this guy at a speed of only 7 meters per second? You've got to subtract the 2 away. So, before the collision, they approach each other at 7 meters per second. After the collision, they separate from each other at 7 meters per second. Ah, that's the idea. Okay, let's do another one here. So, remember, this minus that is that minus this. So, 6 minus 1 is 3 minus, ah, careful, negative v, yeah? negative v, because we assume that the, uh, this ball is going leftward after the collision. So do the math, turns out v is 2 meter per second. So let me drop the number here. So do you see that before the collision, they approach each other at 5 meter per second. After the collision, they separate at 5 meter per second as well. Okay, let's do one last one. So again, this minus that is that minus this, yeah? So 5 minus negative 2 should be equal to 4 minus v. So you do the math, Ui, turns out v is negative 3 meter per second. What does that mean? Now you do realize that I actually assumed that the ball is going to move rightward after the collision. Maybe not assume, lah. I, I made a guess. I, I thought the ball is going to go rightward. But turn out I was wrong. Huh? But it's okay to be wrong because uh, the answer will tell us. So. What the answer is telling us is that after the collision, the ball will be moving leftward at a speed of 3 meters per second. So again, see? What is the relative speed they are approaching each other? 7, right? And what is the relative speed they are separating from each other? Also 7. Okay, I hope you understand the RSOA is equal to RSOS uh, formula better now. Ta-ta!